OK, everyone, so here is the bookcase that I have downstairs in my front room. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four rows of books. And in here, some of the books I've read, some of the books I haven't read as yet, but I will do, of course, at some point. Um, a lot of these books in here as well are series that I've kept, that I've read and just absolutely adored, so I kept them. So start here, got Geek Girl series by Holly Smell. If you haven't read Geek Girl, trust me, read it. It's so fun. I love those books. Got some Philippa Gregory books here. Got the Selection series by Kira Cass. I would say this is probably one of my favourite book series ever. If I pull this one out here, you can see the covers are just beautiful. They're all pretty similar, but um, they've got like just different dresses on. Hold on, I'm trying to... You see what I mean? They're pretty similar, but the dresses are different colours and stuff. So they're really pretty book covers and just great, great series. Victoria Schwab, she's one of my favourite authors. Uh, Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. Loneliest Girl in the Universe, that was lovely. I like that, Lauren James. Um, this is actually one of my favourite books of all time. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. She also did, um, oh, what's it called? Daisy and the Six, which I absolutely loved as well. Uh, over here, I've got all my Mortal Instruments books. As you can see, I'm a huge fan of Cassandra Clare and... Uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of all anything Mortal Instruments connected. I've got the little spin-offs as well and stuff like that. I think number two of uh, the Red Scarf Magic comes out this year. But there's also some Mortal Instruments at the back here. I've got a special collection edition here from Waterstones. So, yeah. Um, what else have we got? Oh, I love my Lee Bardagoo books, or Bardago, I can never say her name. I absolutely love her books. Um, I reckon my favourite one from her is Crooked Kingdom. I just absolutely love that. This is going to be a TV series. They're going to make Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom and all that. It's all going to be a TV series on Netflix. So I'll definitely be watching that. Um, we've got this series here, which I love. Two Dark Reigns, etc., etc., by Kendair Blake. Um, then we've got Dread Nation by Justine Ireland, which uh, I really, 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 really love this book. And number two, the sequel I've actually got, but I haven't read it yet. Oh, hold on. Ah, dropping all the books. Okay, <laughs> you dropped all the books there. Um, this series here I won in a contest actually, but I've not read them yet, but they're supposed to be really good. And the front covers have got like playing cards on and stuff, which is pretty cool. Like they're magic fantasy themed. Enchante, love that. I think number two is coming out of that this year. And this is one of my favorites as well. The Gollum and the Jinn by Helen Recker, love that. Books down here, um, I think, oh no, I've read a few of these books, but most of them are books that I haven't read yet. So Guy Carella, I read that ages ago, I like that as a kid. Um, got some Stranger Things books here. I'm waiting until the show comes back on Netflix and then I'll be in the whole kind of Stranger Things zone and then I can read the books. Um, I love this one, Catwoman, Soul Stealer by Sarah J Mass. I've got some Harry Potters as well. There are Harry Potters at the back, you can't really see them, but <laughs> they are back there. So I've just got a few of the Harry Potters here. Um, do, do, do. Oh, Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. Love that book. That was good. Some of these I haven't read yet. As I say, The Bells I haven't read. Um, Zenith I haven't read. Now, this one I'm not sure about, but every time I go and get rid of it, I think, no, I'll keep it just in case. This is Ernest Klein, Klein's uh, Amada, and he done uh, Ready Player One, which I loved. So, yeah. This is another book that has been recommended to me so much that I had to get it, but still... Not yet read it by Libra Bray, and that is Beauty Queens. This is supposed to be really, really good, fun. So, yeah, that is the bookcase downstairs. And now I'm going to show you the others. Okay, everyone, so here is the bookcase in my bedroom. Actually, at the top of the bookcase, I've got this like, fortune teller. -ha -ha -ha. She's my little witch fortune teller. Got some little Harry Potter figures, Beauty and the Beast. Some penguins as Wilma, my goldfish. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so this is the bookcase in my bedroom. I'm not going to say like all the titles of the books. So you're just going to have to look as we go through. Uh, as you can see, I've got lots of like little trinkets and dolls and lights and stuff like that. Um, so these books on here, I've not yet read. And some of them I've had for ages and I'm annoyed with myself that I haven't read them yet. But... It's fine, they're here for when I want to read them. Ha ha. Um, got some thrillers, got some young adults, fantasy, sci-fi, just a bit of everything really. Oh, that's supposed to be a good thriller. 
Steve Kavanagh, 13. I've got some series that I haven't read yet. You having a look at the books, seeing what I've got? Oh, I've got the Twisted Tree. I forgot all about that. This is the thing where I forget some of the books I actually own. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that one. I still have not read uh, The Dark Days to see. This is the last one in the series and I haven't read it. I've got some Victoria Schwab books I forgot about. The Archived and the Unbound. I need to read these. Um, what's this one? Oh, The Witch of Willow Hall. Oh, that was one I got in the works. I remember I quite like the look of that. A bit spooky. There you go. You're looking as we go across to see the titles. Let me know in the comments section if uh, you've got any of these books I've got or if you like the look of ones that I've got. Um, as you can see, as I say, yeah, I've got the little random things on my bookcase. There's Ronald Weasley there. Hello, Ronald. Oh, I need to dust this bookcase. My days. Um, also, next to the bookcase, I've got a big pile of books. <laughs> Marie Lou, Holly Black. We've got uh, Justina Ireland's uh, Deathless Divide, which is the sequel to um, Dread Nation, which I loved. Eliza and her monsters. I keep meaning to read. Ah! So many books. Kirsten White's The Guinevere Deception. Down here I've got uh, Hideous Beauty, which is uh, a new book by William Hussey. And under here is um, Pride, like a, a kind of new remix version of Pride and Prejudice. Cool. So many books in the bedroom. Okay, so these are the books in my spare room. This is my bookcase in here. Lots and lots of different random things on this bookcase. <laughs> uh, so I've got some books that I've read, books that I haven't read. A bit of a mixture, this one, actually. So you can see at the top there, I've got some thrillers. Now this uh, little trilogy here, this was actually sent to me by an ASMR artist called ASMR Darling. She sent me these three as a gift. I still haven't read them. I should do. Got some James Patterson. I like James Patterson books. Okay, now if we go down here, you can see um, the old Sweet Dreams and Sweet Valley. Uh, I love those sort of books. Nancy Drew. Love Nancy Drew. Pretty in Pink. You know Pretty in Pink as in the film? Pretty in Pink. And over here, I've got these like really old ladybird horror classics. <laughs> Dracula. I used to love this book. I reckon as a kid, this was one of my favourite books. I loved it. Dracula and I've got Frankenstein, etc. A few Lisa Jewell books over here. She's awesome. What an amazing author she is. And down here, these are the Sweet Valley ones that I've got. Oh, I forgot I had that. The Thousandth Floor. Hmm. Catherine McGee. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I've got a lot of these. I haven't got every single one, but I have got a lot of them. The Sweet Valley Hire books and Sweet Valley Twins as well. I think they come first, possibly, and then it went to Sweet Valley High when they were obviously older. I didn't like the Sweet Valley University. I wasn't a fan of those. Um, it was a mindful mindfulness puzzle book. What's this one say? The Girl Who Stopped Swimming. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Some of these books are like just from charity shops and stuff. This one is from a charity shop as well. Louise Candlish, Our House. I like this. Hold on, I'll turn this around and you'll see. Look, it's got like yellow on the sides of the pages, which is pretty, pretty cool. Up there, I've got Zach Bagans. Look, I Am Haunted. That's his autobiography. I know he's done a few, but that was his first one he brought out. I've got The Outsiders, very special uh, anniversary edition. I think it was, yeah, 50th. 50th anniversary edition of The Outsiders. Love that book. Little little cute fairy tales, enchanted fairy tales up there. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had that one as well. Louise O'Neill, Only Ever Yours. That's supposed to be good. A little book of vampire romance as well up there. Different short uh, vampire stories. Eva Ibbotstern. I've got one Eva Ibbotstern up there. And there's another one here. Oh, I love Eva Ibbotstern books. Okay, so this is the bookcase in the loft, and uh, to be fair, this is mainly a bookcase where I put lots of uh, little trinkets and stuff. <laughs> I've really got that many books. I think I've only got like one row. I know, tell a lie, I've got two rows, kind of. Well, one row and like, what, three books on that row. <laughs> and these are books that I haven't yet read either. Uh, what have we got here? Sorry, the lighting isn't that great in this room. 
need a new bulb, I think. Patrick Ness. Oh, I've got that series in um, the works. Noughts and Crosses. I still haven't read that. Oh, the amazing Louise O'Neill, The Surface Breaks. I love that. It's like a retelling of The Little Mermaid. That was amazing. I love that. Got a thriller over there. What's that called? The day. Oh, the day she disappeared. And I've got my uh, complete idiot's guide <laughs> to understanding Judaism. These are supposed to be good. These ones here about the witches. I'm leaving these. I've got a few like witchy themed books um, that I'm going to save to like Halloween this year. That's my plan. These ones. This trilogy here, and I've got a couple here that are witch related. Yeah, this bookcase is kind of just, yeah, not really filled with books as it's filled with lots of cute stuff. But I had to show it because I still got books on it and it is a bookcase. 